Okay, so this is how we're gonna prep our storyboard. So here's how the storyboard comes. It actually comes with white paper in it, which I already removed. Um, but you'll see it has, I believe it's acrylic, an acrylic outside. The base screws off, has your lid, which, there we go. And then you have this rim here where um, the acrylic goes into the stainless steel. So if you unscrew the base, pull this part out. What I always do with these guys, this piece, my base, and my lid go right back in the box. For one, because I don't want to lose them, and two, I don't want this to get scratched, and I do tend to lose my lids. That's why I have to order extra all the time. So I put them back in the box until my cup is pretty much done and I'm ready to put it back together. So for the storyboards, you're gonna prep this like a normal cup, but before I prep it, um, there's a couple of things that I do. And um, I always tape off the laces of the storyboard cups because I don't wanna get anything on them because then the base is not gonna fit properly. And if the base doesn't fit properly, you're gonna have leaks. Um, and I also always tape this part off. But the very first thing I do is we have to fill that hole. Otherwise, our water and our glitter is gonna go into this hole and into like the middle part. And then you're gonna wonder why you have like no water in your storyboard. So the way that I do it is I use a hot glue gun. And is she hot yet? So we use a hot glue gun and I just keep filling it until it's completely full. Then when it's completely full, I always, <laughs> Before I sand, I tape this off because I tend to scratch them. Um, then I will prep it. I'll, um, I always hit my cups with acetone before I sand them to help break down that, um, the coating that's on them. So I, put, I will wipe it down with acetone, I'll sand it. Uh, then you have to make sure you clean it really well before you can base paint it, otherwise it's not gonna hold. So um, I always tape this off first when I'm going to sand and I tape this off, you know, before I paint and all that stuff. But you gotta fill the hole, because if you don't fill the hole, you're gonna lose all your water. So, here we go. So, what I do, is I just kinda, just kinda like squirt it in there. I hate when my glue gun goes between two sticks. It's such a pain in the butt. You're just gonna kind of fill it with hot glue. And then just kind of let it get itself in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's filling up. But if you see, it's hard to see. If you see, you can see that you can see into the double wall. So that's why you kind of have to block this hole with hot glue, because otherwise you're going to have a huge issue with your water disappearing. And it's kind of like a, one of those blind things, you just kind of have to do it, and when glue stops sinking down and just sits at the top, you know you've put enough in. So I can pull off all the old glue. for a minute and as it goes it's going to actually kind of sink in as it cools you see we're still going there we're still going One of the reasons I do this before I prep my cup is because then I can get all the glue off, not do it after I paint it, and then have I'm trying to pull glue off of my design or whatever. 
And I'm sure there's other ways to fill this. Um, I don't think epoxy would work because it would just run into, it's so thin, it would just run all the way into the cup and then you'd end up with like a mess. Like it would just, I don't, it would take a ton of epoxy because it goes like this and it's open. All right, so you can see, maybe not the whole. Okay, so I prepped my storyboard cup and painted it. And we're going to now apply glitter. Um, I'm going to use White Bling by the Glitter Trunk, and I put it in a shaker. And Plum Spice by Glitter Trunk, and I put that one in the little ombre shaker there. Um, I'm going to mix up some epoxy, and we're gonna get started. Alright, hang up with this bad boy. So now it's done. Let that sit for a few hours and I'll throw it into epoxy and then we'll do the next step. Okay, excuse my mask behind me. Um, for our storyboard cup, um, we have put our ombre, put epoxy. I realized that I had somehow scratched off part of the glitter. So then I decided to use the astronaut dots, which are actually gonna be our confetti inside the storyboard as like a accent to hide where I scratched it off. And now we're gonna do our decal and it says, it's backwards for you guys right now. It says sprinkle kindness like confetti. And I'm gonna put this on then because this is a holographic uh, vinyl, I'm actually going to spray it with matte clear spray paint and then let that dry and then we'll epoxy over it. And then the base of our storyboard will be done. Okay, so we are in our final steps of our storyboard. So we've put our glitter on, we've put our decal on, we've epoxied over it. Now the big thing is, is that we wanna make sure our rim is clean and that our piece fits inside. So if you look real close, I don't know if you can see this, there's little tiny bits of stuff. So I'm gonna actually use an X-Acto knife and clean that out. And then 
after I clean it out, I'm gonna grab my plastic piece and I'm gonna make sure it fits. And then once I know it fits, then we can seal it. We're gonna let it sit for 24 hours and then we can actually fill it and put the top on. So we're just gonna kind of clean the edges and we just wanna make sure that we don't have like any little drips of epoxy anywhere. And the inside is nice and clean. So if you rub your X-Acto knife on the inside, I don't know if it's, you're gonna see, like you see there's epoxy coming off. I just rub my X-Acto knife all the way around the inside so that I make sure that there's no epoxy in there. Oh, there's something covering my plane because it's brand new. All right, so what I did was I cleaned the inside of the rim and I always put it completely back together and make sure that this goes on tight before I do anything else, just to make sure I don't have any problems. So now it's super tight in there. I'm gonna have to. Okay, so now it's time to put the clear base on. We're gonna actually put epoxy all the way around the rim of this guy and put the cup in here and then I'm gonna put something, I'm gonna screw the, the bite the base on, put something heavy on top of it, leave it for 24 hours. Then we're going to fill it with our um, glycerin and water and then we'll put the base on and and hopefully we'll uh, have a success, successful storyboard. So I want it to be very, very thin. Um, I literally just want enough on here to seal it. Okay. We have this. We have our cup. I just want to very gently stick it in, push it down. Here, click. Put this on to help keep it in place and lock down where it's supposed to be. This thing is not coming off. Now, you clean up any um, epoxy push through with a baby wipe. Push, make sure it's in there. Take a baby wipe. Wipe all the way around. So you don't have any epoxy on your outside. looking good we're looking good so now we are going to add our glycerin but we're gonna only fill our glycerin to about here these guys I usually use, save this for the very top but we're gonna use it now because I'm making a mess so I'm just gonna open my glycerin stick that in there
it, let that, let the air bubble make its way to the top. And just a tiny bit of water. Just so it's not super thick when you put in the confetti. Now comes the fun part. We're going to very carefully just kind of whoop as I get that in there. So I'm just going to kind of push around my finger and it'll start to sink as it goes. So the, ast the astronaut dots have started to sink and the confetti is going down. Um, if you look at the very top, the water is pretty high. We're actually gonna add just a hair more water and then we're gonna dry this and put epoxy. Um, I have to mix up my epoxy and I will be back. Okay, so I mixed up my epoxy, we're back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some 91% alcohol and a coffee filter and I'm just going to uh, try to make sure there's no oil or water or anything on anywhere that I'm going to put epoxy. So I'm just going to kind of spray that on here. I'm going to wipe this down. Because glycerin is like an oil, so it will keep your epoxy from sticking. The epoxy also does not like water. I'm going to wipe the threads of this bad boy down. And all the water is below the threads of this. And I also want to make sure I don't have anything stuck to it. Okay, I'm going to take my epoxy and I'm going to put it in the threads of this. And I'm going to kind of just really get it in there. And I'm going to let it move itself around. And put it all in here. Got some on the side. all in here make sure it's definitely on all of the threads and then I'm going to actually do the same thing on here I'm going to put it all on the base of this I'm going to put it on these threads So I'm playing with a squeaky toy. And just a little bit on this rim. You hear my dogs arguing with each other over a squeaky toy? There's like a hundred of them out there. But for whatever reason, they'll fight over the same one. Okay. And I'd rather it kind of be a little much than too few. Now I'm going to take my lid, put it on, screw it nice and tight. And I'm going to sit something heavy on top of it. And then in 24 hours, we'll check it again. Here's our finished tumbler. It's so cool. Lots of fun.